Welcome to a lecture on how to navigate the Page Library's homepage. So right now I'm actually on Lincoln University's homepage, but as you can see, there is a direct link to the library. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to use is this set of tabs. Um, this is the basic things that you're most likely going to use when you come onto a library website. So the first thing is searching for books. And what you do is you just type in an author, a title, a keyword, anything that you're interested in searching for in the um, Arthur catalog. So I'm gonna pick Harry Potter. And it'll take you directly to the Arthur catalog and show you the items that we have available that match whatever you searched. You can also do this for our EBSCOhost, EBSCOhost excuse me, databases. Um, I will provide a video that shows you how to search the databases in more depth, but right now I just wanted to show you that this is a quick way to access our EBSCOhost databases. We do have other databases, so if for whatever reason you can't find what you're looking for in EBSCOhost, you can then move on and go to another database. We also have the course reserves tab which will show you the textbooks that we have available for reserve or for you to borrow in the library. These can only be used on site um, but the best way I think to do this is to search by course because if you search by instructor you will get a lot of results that won't be for your course. So to search, you need the course code, which is usually like English 101. Um, sometimes they will have only two letters, like our class is LS 101, and then you hit search. And for example, our class doesn't have any textbooks, so it's not listed in here. But if we go to a different course, let's see here, like, PED 111. It shows that we do have a textbook, Access to Health, and it also shows the professor and what the course is about. And it also will tell you here that it's located on the reserves and it's also available. Oops. Um, then the next tab I'm going to show you how to use is the My Library account. This is what you would use to check and see if you have any books in, um, to see if your books are due soon, um, all of that information that you might need about things that your that regard your books. So I'll go ahead and show you guys mine. So the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is typing in your ID number correctly because you have to have three zeros, then the six digit code that you usually consider your ID number, and then you put the letters L and U at the end. So this is my account. Uh, the only thing that is on my account right now is a book that I've requested from a different library, so it'll show in the status requested, and this is where I'm supposed to pick it up when it comes in. Uh, you can also see what I have checked out right now, the double in the white city. It tells you the barcode, it gives me the option to rate it, when it's due, and the call number. Uh, if I wanted to renew this book, I would just check the box here and I would say renew all or renew marked. Obviously, if you renew all, it's going to renew every single book on the list. If you just renew mark, marked, uh, it'll just do the one that you chose. All right. So we'll talk about the article finder later when we're doing our in-depth research for the final paper. Um, so I'm going to move on to this area where we have all of these boxes. They're pretty self-explanatory as to where they take you on the website. Books and media will take you to the Arthur catalog again. Articles and databases will take you to a list of all of the articles and databases that we have currently at Page Library. 
This will take you to your library account. This will help you search the course reserves. This will take you to the archives page and give you a little bit of information about the archives and what they do. The Blue Tiger Commons is our digital repository. And basically, we can put up any Lincoln affiliated research, poetry, anything that you would want to see in the repository. Um, if you do poetry, if you do music, you can contact our librarians and have it uploaded into the commons. And the great thing about that is when you upload things to the commons, you get a citation on Google. So people will be able to search for your stuff and it'll pop up in a Google search. Online Reference has some uh, information about our librarians and tools that you can use for reference. Subject guides, these are also known as lib guides. They are guides that librarians create for particular subject areas. And we have things like business, English, citations, nursing, and whatever else you can think of, we're happy to add some if there's not a subject guide that is helpful to you. So just let us know what you'd like to see. Uh, this is for a room request. Uh, students cannot request rooms on their own. They have to have a sponsor uh, that is a faculty or staff member. Uh, How-to videos. Uh, we have a few up there right now. It teaches you how to use the printer, for example. And this link will take you to our media center, which is located on the lower level. Uh, Katrina and Stacy work down there, and they would be happy to help you with any technology needs. We also have a digital media lab down there that they can show you how to use. You can do recordings. You can uh, make music, do pictures, pretty much anything that you can think of that uh, somebody in journalism would like to do, we can do here in our digital media lab. Finally, we have the suggest a purchase. If there's an item that we don't have on our shelves that you would like to see, go ahead and suggest a purchase. We can't guarantee that we'll always buy it, but it's good to know in case several people are requesting the same item over and over again. Um, then I skipped this little slideshow in the middle. This generally tells about uh, new stuff that's going on in the library. You can uh, learn how to book the digital media lab. You can uh, see that we've got some new databases. This is constantly changing and being updated, so it's a good way to see what's new at the library. We also have this chat feature called Ask a Librarian. On most of our pages, this little pop-up will show up if you're idle on the page for a certain amount of time. And all you have to do is type something into the box and it will come to the librarians and we'll do our best to answer the question. Uh, you can also see basic information about the library, such as our phone number, email address, regular address when we're open, and we do have a link to our Twitter feed here. So that's pretty much it for the home page. Obviously, um, I will be providing videos that go into more depth of some of these things that you'll be using more heavily. But for now, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you online.